So, uh, day three on the uh, planter work here. As you can see, uh, and as you probably know, got the bees stripped down and uh, actually it wasn't that bad. I was a little bit uh, worried it was going to be a lot harder than it was. As you can see, I got it folded up and uh, I'm just going to, I talked about washing it, but I think I'm just going to unhook it outside today. I'm kind of keen to really get at uh, working on the other toolbar. I'm going to go through the process of figuring out how to unfold the new system. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for me to hook up the new one, figure out how it folds and unfolds, and then also how to lower it down and take off the back stacker bar. Uh, because I want to make sure that I have the flexibility with that system that I can uh, not have the planter attached, still use a planter and then use that uh, fertilizer system on so and so. It could be used as either two systems or just one uh, if they're hooked together. So in doing that, I want to make sure that I can totally detach the planter and make it uh, functional that way. So I think uh, move this out and move the new one in. I think I'm going to sweep the floor first. I got a little concerned about that, but still got lots of room. Tight fit though, uh, just because I got all the other stuff at the back of the shop because of uh, the teardown. But my plan is to take off this toolbar, drop the three-point hitch on it. Here, lower the toolbar and then back this unit out and uh, come back with the tractor and hook up to the toolbar and then I can pull it ahead towards the door and it gives me a lot more room to work on getting these units on said toolbar so um, going to try to figure out uh, and you can watch in agony um, how to hook this mess up and unfold it, lower it, and hopefully get it unhooked without damaging myself or the equipment. But stay tuned. So, just going through and undoing a lot of the uh, stop blocks. If you can see down here, this pin was uh, in here to hold it up. Uh, this valve was still on, um, so I left it on. This valve for the wing fold was turned off. All I did was make it flow, and there was a chunk of metal from here down here that uh, was just kind of a extra precaution uh, to keep the wing from going down if a hydraulic line breaks I guess um, so that was the same on both sides I can't see anything else around the front toolbar that I'm aware of 
on the back, all I could see was this uh, stop block was right in here. So I pulled that out, same on the other side. The only thing I can't get yet, actually, you can see that pin up there for the arm. Oh, I guess I can turn it. I didn't think I could. I thought I might have to take the tension off it. Let's see if I can skin my knuckles. Nope. So that was the same to the other side. So that kind of locks those wings from coming down. I'm just going to shove it down here to hold it in place. But uh, I think in a perfect world, I got all the safety stops out. That uh, three point hitch, I'm gonna have to figure out how it works. It doesn't have the latches like the quick hitch, which I'm not surprised. Uh, better be safe than a sad story. But uh, yeah, see, they bolt in these little blocks here. But I think my goal would be more to. Just pull the pin. Oh no, the pins are pins are uh, bolted in. So I might actually have to either undo the bolt on the pin or uh, take that off. And then it's just a pin on the top link here. So it shouldn't be too horrible. I hope. Assuming I have everything unlocked. Oh, that makes sense now. I was trying to figure out where these brackets here to here like I did on the other side I guess that's what those two tabs are for up here you can pin them in so maybe I'll do that so I know where they are and then uh, from a hydraulic hose standpoint you can kind of see here hope your French is good mine sucks um, but they have a good translation so uh, I think I got them hooked up the way they should be so hopefully it works and uh, I just hooked up two hoses for the lift and pulled the rest I don't need and I didn't hook up the PTO Well, successively we got her unfolded without any carnage. Um, pretty happy about that. Um, so it does fold independently, as you can see. Uh, you just have a switch left and right, um, which is neat. I guess if you're going around something, you want to miss it or you uh, ubu like I do sometimes. Uh, it's a good safety precaution, I guess. Um, so just trying to figure out how much lower I can do this toolbar uh, for the jack stands and stuff. I might shut off the flow to the front toolbar because uh, I don't want to go in too far into the concrete. Those are pretty sharp heavy duty blades so um, as I said I might just shut the valve off for that front toolbar and then I can lower the rest of it and see where that takes us. And, um, now that's kind of unfolded, we can take maybe a better look at it. 